Happy Tuesday, everyone. Eric here from the Dad Bod Project. Enjoying the nice, beautiful weather here and sunny, always, almost always sunny Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, have you looked at your earlobes lately? I'm gonna talk about something. You're gonna think it's crazy. I thought it was crazy when I first heard about it, but I got a story to tell you. A story that led to some pretty interesting conversations on the heart unit where I work. And I think you're gonna wanna stick around. Let's go ahead and do this. Here we go. So, um, a patient came over to my unit from the CVICU. He had had a stent placed. And his wife calls me in frantic. She says, Eric, I want to talk to his cardiologist right away. The creases in his earlobes are bigger than they were this morning, and I'm freaking out. Right? So, here's me. A nurse with three years of experience in, in cardiac and I'm like this lady is a little cuckoo all right a little cuckoo for cocoa puffs right here so I decide I said look okay she's like wait a second because she could see the look on my face and one of the things I always try and do always 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 is listen to my patients and their family members I've I've caught so many things. I caught a stroke in a very super early stage of a, of a hemorrhagic stroke because the family was like, there just is something wrong. So I take that kind of stuff really seriously. But I honestly felt like, like this lady was just a little, sorry, trying to find which direction I'm gonna go here, a little too crazy. So she could see it on my face just a little bit and I said, I just, I've never heard of the earlobes being associated with heart problems. Um, can you explain a little more so I know what to tell the doctor? And she says, oh, you don't know about Frank's sign? So I said, no, I never heard of Frank's sign. What's Frank's sign? What the heck is Frank's sign? Like. And which Frank are we talking about anyway, right? So I look and I go, and I, and I talk to one of the intensivists. So I, I'd never heard of it. And he, he looked it up the next morning, came in. He said, yeah, he said, Eric, that's a real thing. He said, the New England Journal of Medicine has been kind of tracking, and this actually came back, you know, came to us in like 1973. This is uh, before I was even born. And they were looking for clinical clues, okay? So when, when you walk into your cardiologist's office, what are the things that he can do? Labs, physical assessments, stuff like that, that will help him determine whether or not you have any cardiac issues, right? And this is one of the things they found out. It's a little crease in your earlobe. A 45 degree angle crease from the little spot right here to about right here okay now I started looking at my earlobes and that's not a crease I used to have my ear pierced but I started looking on the one that didn't have the ear pierced and I'm like wow am I starting to get a crease am I starting to show Frank's sign but anyways, from what the New England Journal of Medicine uh, has published to date, we know that this is most significant um, predictor of, as a, as a predictor of coronary artery disease, it is most significant in persons 60 years and younger. And after that, uh, people have loss of subcutaneous tissue, and so they'll have the, the ear crease anyways, a lot of people do. But, I just wanted you to know this. 
okay? My channel is about me, a cardiac nurse, a dad. Started going down the road of eventually going to be on the surgeon's table or on the cardiologist's table, either getting a stent or a bypass surgery. So I'm trying to stay away from that. Anyways, go look it up. There isn't a whole lot on it. Okay, there aren't people out there studying this trying to figure out any more than we already know. But it is something. And when you go to your next family party or family reunion, look around at the men who've had stents placed, and the women who've had stents placed in their coronary arteries or they've had bypass surgery. And check and see if they've got a crease in their ear. All right, I, me and a bunch of our, the nurses on our unit, we know about this. And a couple of us are like kind of obsessed about it. You know, we see that crease and we'll tell somebody about it. Or we have our patients come in from getting their stents placed and we're like, oh yeah, they got the prank sign. So it's kind of significant, it's kind of interesting. If you find that you have Frank sign, a diagonal crease in the crease of your earlobe, you might want to go see your primary care doctor, but you probably really want to go see a cardiologist. That's my suggestion. This has been the Dad Bob Project for today. Don't forget to subscribe and sign up for alerts. Take it all my videos. Thanks. Peace. I'll see you on the next one.